What's up guys? Welcome to Good Old Fashioned Gaming with Azure Raiden. This is my Throwback Thursday Contribution Series. Uh, it's going to be a, basically a series um, dedicated to retro games. Uh, anything basically prior PS1. I may even throw some PS1 in there if it's like kind of a one of thing. Um, they probably won't be full series. It'll probably just be uh, one of. I think this this game I'm gonna make a, a, a full series for it, but we're gonna see how it goes. Um, we're gonna get right into it. This is the first entry, Samurai Pizza Cats. I picked this entry because I couldn't resist a game called Samurai Pizza Cats. Remember, the rescue team is always ready to help you out. General Catton can punch through boulders. Good to know. Meowza can dig through dirt walls. Sure, that'll come in handy. And Batcat can fly for a short amount of time. And Spritz Tea Cat can swim you to safety. Well, that's very not cat-like. Call for their help by pressing the start button. Well, thanks for telling me. I guess that was their breaking the fourth wall because they told me to it, press the start button. It came from the South Pole? This is Little Tokyo, a city much like yours if your city has robot animals living in it. Well, mine doesn't. I guess I just don't have a cool city. And like any city in Japan... It suffers from random giant monster attacks. Great. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, that flashing right there... Um, if that's going to cause problems for you, you might not want to watch this series. I, I don't want to just, you know, deter you from following anything that I do, but there is a lot of that flashing, and I do apologize. There's not much anything I can do about it. That's just, for some reason, what the game developers decided to do. Uh, we got we got three choices here we can start off with. I know it's hard to read. Speedy, Catton, and I don't, I can't even tell what that is. We're going to go with Speedy. And here we are. Uh, this is basically a, uh, a two-dimensional, obviously, uh, style beat-em-up. Platformer beat-em-up. And I like Speedy. I like her run animation with the uh, bazillion feet thing going there. I find that to be... Get this thing. Come on, guys. I find that generally very amusing. The only part about it I don't particularly like is the fact that once she starts running... Uh, she can't stop herself from running. Uh, which is a real pain in the ass, if you ask me. It, it gets to be a real problem uh, a little bit later on. When you do a little bit, when there's more platforming bits involved. Now, unfortunately, um, I can't say that I am completely new to this game. Um, I actually attempted... Uh, a full playthrough of this game and realized that all of my video was uh, kind of complete shit because for some reason well not really for some reason I know why um, it just you know the video just does it just it skips out on frames and it's just because my computer isn't strong enough to be able to handle um, the capture device so that's unfortunate but that's you know the, the, the limitations of my of my you know software right now or for my hardware. And there's not really a whole heck of a lot that I can do about it. I do apologize. Um, I'm trying the best I can to get video content out for you guys. I know I've been uh, sick for a while, which is definitely preventing me from doing a lot of uh, recording. But I'm going to try and get this going here. My voice is better, so that's definitely a plus. And we're going to get right into boss time. Bad Bird, you're behind this? Who's Bad Bird? Is that Bad Bird? The military bird with the, with the, with the gun? It looked like he had a gun. Oh, Tweety Bird. Ego Blow. Mecha Tuxedo X. Destroy them! So, this is the giant monster attack right here. Sorry if you pick up my sniffling. I still have a little bit of congestion going on, which is actually really annoying. I'm not trying. If it gets, if it gets to be too much of an issue, or I have to call for something, I will probably end up just pausing the video, or pausing the, the commentary. 
Because I'm not gonna just, you know, have a full on, a full blown coughing fit in the middle of a recording. That's just, I don't want to hear that when I'm watching videos. I don't want you to hear that when you're watching videos. It's just kind of a thing. I, I can't really help the, the sniffles too much. I mean, unfortunately, that's just part of a congestion, a sinus infection. There we go. And you're dead. Goodbye. More flashing screens, probably. You haven't seen the last of us, pizza cats. Time to do our pose, guys. Why are we posing? Why are they posing? Oh, because, oh yeah. Let me let me go back and explain a little bit about this game um, that I didn't get much of a chance to in the beginning. Um, this game is actually based off of a... Uh, it, the text is there if you want to follow up on the story. I, I apologize. I'm, I'm trying to get to some stuff uh, out there for you guys. Um, get some... Give you a little bit of a background on the game. But, um... This game is actually based off of a uh, Japanese anime series. Uh, something to do with cat ninjas. I, I don't know if they're trying to uh, take away from... Not take away, but you know, take uh, inspiration off of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but yeah, it's based off of a cat anime series called Cat Ninja Legend... T... T... -N -D? T... -N -D? I don't know. I butcher Japanese pronunciation. Um... Round two. We're just going to go in sequential order here. A part of me just kind of wants to skip it around. I don't know if it's going to be able to. Uh, but yeah, based off of a Japanese anime series all called Cat Ninja Legend. Um, our translation for it, I guess, turns out to Samurai Pizza Cats. I don't know why. Um, this game was originally released in 1991 by Tecmo in Japan. Only in Japan. Uh, it was not released in the U.S. Uh, the only way that I'm playing it right now is that a buddy of mine has an English translation version of the game. Uh, and those do exist, you can get your hands on those. Um, but they're probably a little bit difficult to find, you probably have to uh, do some fancy footwork to be able to uh, come across one. Um, like for me, for example, I have a buddy who had one and I'm borrowing his so I can play it. Uh, I actually found this game when he came over here uh, on one of our random game nights, which we'll probably you'll probably hear from him. I'm going to incorporate him. She shot missiles out of her hair, by the way. Uh, I'm going to actually probably bring him in on this series, of the, particularly this series, because uh, him and my other friend are huge into the retro games and the NES era. Uh, that's their thing. So anything Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, Famicom, all that stuff, that's them, and that's what they love. So... It's just a good fit, and plus I'll have some nice, uh, wonderful back and forth banter between me and uh, possibly two or three other people. So here we are, round two. Um, they call them rounds, I guess I would, you, we could probably more understand them being levels. Uh, this game actually kind of, oh give me that. This game actually kind of splits up the rounds into um, what really appears to be episodes, like TV episodes. Which is, you know, fitting because this game is based off of a, a TV series. It was actually a pretty popular anime series uh, over in Japan. And I believe the anime series actually did make it over to the States. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so... What's the point of having a cat whose ability is swimming when any of the cats can swim? I mean, I thought he was the only cat who could swim, which would probably give him more of a purpose. But as it appears, um, any cats can swim? When I'm not losing health by doing this, I'm not... Oh, you jerk. Well, now I'm losing health. Uh, yeah. But the anime series was actually pretty popular. Uh, it, it actually had 54 episodes, which is pretty decent. Um, I know it's not like crazy amounts like, you know, some other TV cartoons or anything like that, but, you know, 54 episodes, you know, nothing to laugh at. Or nothing to scoff at. I mean, that's a decent chunk of episode right there. That's a lot of content. So, I don't know. And this, I know the anime series was uh, something that we did want over here in the States, but the game itself never got ported to the States, and I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's a pretty solid game, I'm not going to lie. 
Except for these guys trying to get you to buy their CDs. I don't want their CDs. Nobody wants their CDs. Yeah, them right there. Nobody wants your music. Stop it. Your tailor tear damn. Okay, I'm taking unnecessary damage just because of the way you son of a bitch. Oh yeah. Um This game has a tendency to make me a little a little mad. I'm not gonna lie. So if I haven't sworn enough in my uh yes, yeah, there's the flashing cussing again. If I haven't sworn enough for you in your in your particular taste, if you want more uh, vulgar language in your videos, you'll probably get it out of me in, in this series because there's just some parts that are just gonna piss me off, and there's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, uh, there's your history about the game. That was probably a good five minutes worth of jibber jabber for me. Um, just so you can get an understanding of what it is that we're playing uh, and the, the, what this is. So yeah, I hope that was informative. And he was the one that got blown up. Bah, get them Fisher Queen. So we're playing the Fisher Price Queen. No, we're not playing. We're gonna fight the Fisher Price Queen. And I remember this boss. Okay, come on. There she is. We just gotta, just gotta like baseball bat hit her out of the sky. And she's gonna pop up randomly at certain spots, and she... Okay, I missed her. Hopefully she just keeps coming from that spot. I mean, there really isn't much to this fight. The bosses do... Oh, damn it. Okay, okay, well, she's... She's doing annoying things now. She wasn't like this before, so this is gonna be kind of annoying. Beforehand, I could just do that. And it was a lot easier to try and, to try and deal with her. But now she's kind of coming from different directions. I don't know if maybe I just got lucky the first time I went through this, but now she's kind of being more unpredictable. Um, and that's, you know, that's a good thing, I guess. You don't want the bosses to be exactly the same every time you play them. There we go, she's dead. Kind of glitching out a little bit, but whatever, she's dead. Goodbye! Now we're gonna pose, we're gonna say a weird pun. You guess you're all fished out, because you know, fish queen. I'll never kidnap a helpless girl again. No, you won't. You couldn't even blow up a ship. That makes me so angry. I could... Could what? N no! Not again! Team Rocket's blasting off again! The Pizza Cat saved Lucille and Vic, Vitanic, Hook, Line, and Sinker. And he'll never succeed thanks to the Samurai Pizza Cats. All this fighting made me hungry for sushi. For some reason I keep feeling like I'm gonna have to cough and I really don't want that to happen. Let's see here. Alright, I think that pretty much covered it. Let's go to round three. Big Cheese's Big Variety Hour. I kind of want to see if I can just like kind of skip around this game, but I don't really want to because I, this is a pretty rare game, I think, because you know it's not even available in the States. Peacock Tower is the relay station for Little Tokyo's TV signals. So they're trying to take over Peacock Tower now, so they can get control of the TVs. Then people won't be able to watch anything else except for your beautiful face. Exactly. He's so handsome. Everyone will adore me. They'll have no choice. Good thing I came up with this plan. But I told you about it months ago. Why don't they ever get the credit? The underlings never get the credit. Yeah, see? <laughs> Shut up. Oh no! I missed my soaps! The Samurai Pizza Cats must stop them at once because his soaps are in jeopardy. Alright, let's go speedy. Who is this? Oh wait! Who are these people? I don't know who they are. I'm gonna pick this guy. Is that a is that an umbrella? <laughs> okay, well this is still new. I guess this is a different character, because I still have the other people. It's just this is a different, like, I guess, main character? I don't know. 
Well, we're gonna go with this guy because he's blue, and blue is a good blue is a good color. All right, interesting. And that derpy thing right there is, is well, is now dead. So yay, awesome, great. Oh, he's back. As soon as you go off screen with something, it immediately comes back. And I swear that's the Kool Aid Man. It looks exactly like the Kool Aid Man. Oh, the platform is gone. So I guess to make the platform come back, all I got to do is one of these numbers. And there's the platform. Yay! We succeeded in our mission reviving the platform. There's the drummer of the band who is trying to sell you the crappy CDs and nobody wants them. Hey, what's up? Oh, you hit me. Damn it, you jerk. Alright, got him, so he's not gonna be annoying. Got the jingle bells. Uh, I guess I gotta use Bat Cat. Alright, there we go. Up we go. Hey, man. Punch. Oh, it didn't work. I don't know what's up there. We're gonna go up there anyway. Hey, what's up? Alright, got him. I don't really need the health, so I'm just gonna keep going up here. Alright. He's gone. I kind of jumped right into that one, so that's my own fault there. Alright, he's there. He's gone. I don't know what the jingle bells are. Oh, they completely refilled my help meter, so now I can... Now I can kind of just float around. Yay! More jingle bells. Need to be careful, and here we go. Good, 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 good. Alright. Okay. Alright. And boss time. Television should not be used for evil. We should have the right to see what we want. Gilligan's Island Marathon. Gilligan's Island is in Japan. Do they show that in Japan? They don't show that. That's not a Japanese show. The kids are too busy watching the Godzillas. Alright, let's go back to Guido. What the... Okay. I don't even know what I just did there. Alright, this is a pretty simplistic boss. Um, he's just gonna basically fly around. He's gonna drop some piglets. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Super Mario World from the, from the SNES. Which is kind of interesting, except now instead of just simply throwing his piglets back at him, I'm just beating him up. So yeah, he's gonna come back down, I'm gonna beat him up. He's gonna drop more piggies, that's fine. I'm gonna beat him up, and he's dead. So yeah, that's that boss. You've just been cancelled. Get it? Cancelled? Because it was a TV show? <laughs> yeah, seriously, the puns. They're all over the place. Cancelled before I even hit the airways. Why, why, why? Master the plans. Look at his face. He even looks like he said plans. Maybe we should have tried radio. Yeah, like old time radio. I don't know, whatever. Round four. Princess Pandemonium. Let's see how far I can get. I am so bored. Time to ditch this dump. I'm sure I'll find something fun to do out there. Those peasants better entertain me, or I'll send them to Prisoner Island. It's called Shutter Island. That's where you send them. So we can perform weird secret lobotomies on their faces. Hey, what Princess Vi is missing? Did she escape from League of Legends? Did she go to League of Legends? Did she disguise herself as an officer? Does she roam the jungle? That's where the... Ah, uh, whatever. Drat. We've got to find her as fast as possible. 
Possible. And I picked Guido. I'm gonna call him Guido. I picked. I'm gonna pick Molly. I don't know who Molly is. Well, that's interesting. She's got like a little swipey swipe. Swipey swipe. Yeah. Swipey swipe. Multiple swipes. I didn't realize when I played this the first time that there were other characters you could pick. I just kind of always picked Speedy. I guess that was my fault for not really paying attention to the fact that they all had different names and none of them were the same names that, you know, were the normal four characters. Oh, there's one of those tornado dudes, alright. These are just annoying, you just beat them up and they go away. Hey, I beat you up and you go away. You're making me look bad in front of all of my five viewers. Alright, so I need a uh, gutton. We're gonna bust open these blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Break them down. These are like the cats that, you know, these are like the honorable mention cats. They weren't quite good enough to be part of the normal superhero team, but you know, they still wanted to be important in some, for some, oh, he's out of the screen now, so I made him disappear from the game's code. I beat him up that bad that he disappeared from the game's code. And there's Kool-Aid Man, dropping his sugary deliciousness. And there's Guitar Playing Man, playing his guitar. I'm just gonna leave him alone because he's not really bothering me. Alright, there's Kool-Aid Man, he's dead. There's Parrot. And there's Mr. Mind Man, he's dead. He's gonna come back and be generally annoying. I'm just gonna leave him alone. For the most part, it, this is one of the games where I'm just gonna like kind of ignore some enemies because they're just gonna be too annoying to deal with. All right. Well, this guy's just gonna be just a douche in general. I like the scratches. She's just like scratch, 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 scratch. Oh damn it! Damn it! Yeah, screw you, I'm going home. Go away, I said screw you. Boss time. Candygram, you know, cause it's not telegram. Candygram, Oh, It's for the pizza cat. So kidnapping helpless birds again, bad, so. Oh, well whatever, I didn't read that in the right context. You're despicable. Alright, well, I could possibly get my ass handed to me here. As long as I just keep, you know, hitting everything that I've been hitting, I'm, you know, this will be... This will work out beautifully for me. By the way, if I get hit again, I'm dead, so I'm just throwing that out there for anybody who's interested in knowing where my health is at. There, he's dead. Yay! I beat him on my last little tick of health. Poe's Ninja Crows, Nevermore. Nevermore is an Edgar Allan Poe joke. Was Edgar Allan Poe popular in Japanese culture? I don't study Japanese culture, so I don't know. Give me a piggyback ride back to the castle, you whiny bitch. She literally, she literally did that. She jumped on the, she jumped on Speedy's back and was like, giddy up, bitch. And Speedy was like on the ground. She's not a whore, she's a cat. Ugh, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta question what the hell people are doing with their time. Well, you probably don't, but yeah, look, look at that picture. See, she's riding Speedy's back. So now we're at, I can go to round six? I saw a round seven. Yeah, I can go to round seven. Whatever, we're just gonna keep doing this in sequential order. I'm not gonna skip ahead, even though I want to, because I've already done this. Always looking for the golden boiled goose of goodness with the turbo base. You don't hit the turbo base. 
you don't hit the turbo base. Whatever you do, you don't hit the turbo base. I'm gonna be the Emperor. Once our secret weapon is complete... Yeah, I'm not giving them voices. If you haven't noticed that, I'm not really reading along with the dialogue. I'm just kind of mumbling to myself and rambling. And, you know, that's that's what we do, right? As commentators, we just mumble and ramble and talk about whatever the, really the fuck we want to talk about. Yeah. I mean, I could read along with the dialogue and try to come up with voices, but I tried that before and I'll just forget. I'm sorry. I'll forget. If I try to give him a, a snappy voice, I'm going to forget it. Though I like the little foxes dancing around in the background because, you know, he's a little fox himself. Oh, and the flashing screen means this is really serious. Like I said, with the, with the flashingness, if you, if, um, you know, I, I warned you, I warned you there was going to be a lot of flashing going on. And not of the good kind, either, by the way. This is, this is not the good kind. It's literally just somebody flashing a light in your face. So we can play Speedy, we can play Speedy, Guido, or Molly. Um, I liked Speed. I still like Speedy. I don't know what their what their um what their role was in um in the TV series, but I like Speedy. I like the idea of Speedy. I like the fact that she's got a little a little katana sword that she's just like whatcha, whatcha. I like that. I like her sword. Because, you know, for a samurai cat, she's the only one who has a sword. The other the other cat had a umbrella. And the other cat was just, you know, had a had a claw thing. But she was just like ha ta ta ta. And that was it. It was just a little claw thing. Not that that wasn't a good, you know, a good thing, but I just feel like, I, I just, I don't know, I like Speedy because of the sword. That's just a personal preference, I mean, you all can, if you play this game on your own time, you can all decide for yourself what... Don't push me in the lava, you bitch! That little fucker tried to push me right in the lava, did you see that shit? I'm not going over there. I'm going up here. I could use the bird to kind of go over there, but I just don't feel like it. Honestly, that that's really all it comes down to is just the fact that I just don't really feel like it. Hey! Oh, it's the boss now. Okay. W -w -w what the? That's no goose! You idiots, we spent days digging that out. And now you tell me it's not a golden goose, but a golden fish? So it's like goldfish. In water. Goldfish and water are gross. Why would you want to eat soggy goldfish? That's like... Oh, here we get to fight the fox guy. Damn it, the jump button wasn't working there. I'm gonna blame it on the jump button. Yeah, I'm beating you up, Big Cheese. I don't know what the Big Cheese is all about, but I'm kicking your ass. Yeah, you're dead. The last time, you almost got me. This time, I had your number. And now you're blasting off again. Big Cheese got so angry, he exploded in midair. That's probably dangerous. As easy as catching fish in a bucket. Whatever. Uh, big. It could be a really large bucket. I mean, you don't—you never know about the size of the bucket. If it was a really large bucket, that could be actually pretty difficult, especially if it's like a really slimy fish. I don't know. If that's a great analogy there, Samurai Pizza Cats. You might want to rethink that. Anyways, um, we're just gonna keep going. Round six. I just want to push this a little bit. See if I can, can't get through um, another round six. Maybe I can try and cut this game up into two halves uh, instead of three. Because the last time I did this, it had to be a three-parter. 
and um, I had to scrap it because the entire recording was botched and I was missing a lot of frames and I'm just hoping this recording isn't doing the same thing. That's a really poor, I mean, I don't know, are those the citizens of the anime series? Like, is that what they look like? Because I'm kind of thinking if that's what you're trying to represent Tokyo citizens as, that's a really poor misinterpretation. I mean, one, they're probably, oh, I mean, I've never seen anybody from Tokyo or Japan, uh, you know, overweight, because all they do, they, they, they walk everywhere, and they're all just, you know, really, really in shape and healthy, I, I think, I'm, I'm assuming. So to make them look like little pudgy piglets is just kind of, you know, a gross misinterpretation. Misinterpretation. But maybe that's just part of the series. I mean, I've never seen the actual anime series. More, more flashing screen. I've never seen the actual anime series, so I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I, I can't put the two and two together. I don't know if maybe if I had watched the anime series, if I could take away more from this game. Probably, because that's kind of how these type of games go, or these, you know... That's just how they. That's just how it goes. Like if you've watched the, if you know what the relation from the game to the, to the series is, you probably could take a lot of a lot more from it. The characters might mean more. Um, even the bosses themselves that I'm fighting. I mean, I don't know who the hell they are. They're just random bosses that show up, and it's like, dude, what the fuck? And then I kick your ass, and it's like, whatever. But I mean, if I had watched the anime series, maybe I would know. We're gonna stick with Speedy. There goes the cricket. There's another cricket. There's a cricket. All right. There's a drummer trying to sell his damn CDs again. There's a oh you bitch. Also, um, I'm not gonna purposely do it, but the next time I get hit, just pay attention to my uh my the uh, the face animation because her eyes bulge out and she does this like ooh thing whenever she gets hit. I mean she doesn't say anything, but it's still pretty funny. Whenever she gets hit, because her eyes bulge out, and I find it really, I find it a nice comical. A com it's just funny. I mean, the running animation alone is, is worth the game. I mean, I've never seen that running animation in any other game that I've been playing uh, for the Nintendo. Or even in, like, modern gaming. You just, I mean, you don't see that style of run. Like, that's just a goofy ass. Uh, yeah, right there, if you just, if you watched it, it was pretty, it, that's what I was talking about with the... Yeah, those pigeons will give you health and stuff. I'm ignoring him. There's this chick again. Oh! This is the boss down here, I think, isn't it? No? I think I know what the thing is. Like, if you use Spritz, I think Spritz actually swims better. Yeah, he swims way better. But it's interesting. Oh damn it! Well, you know, I say that, and then I'm just running into everything. So that's the idea behind using Spritz in the water. Is he just swims better than the other cats do? But I'm also like running into everything because I'm just you know. I don't know what the hell I just did there. I just threw something. I don't know what it was, but I didn't mean to do that. I got my health back there. One other interesting thing, if you do end up playing this game, I'm not quite at full health, but if I just reload the screen, right there's the health again. So now you can just go back, and if you're not even full of health, you can just go get it and just constantly keep yourself at full, which is pretty funny in and of itself. Here's the boss. Yay, bad bird. Hold it right there, buster. Wave finger angrily. You stupid cats. And now we have to fight the Empire underwater. Get them, Captain Mook. Get them. Oh, I screwed that up. This douche right here I'm, was the first guy that I had to deal with who was just a literal pain in the ass because of those freaking bubbles. And that was great. If that was supposed to be an ultimate attack, I just completely bit botched it. Yeah, the bubbles! The bubbles! The frickin' bubbles! If as soon as you get hit, those bubbles become such a nightmare. And that's what's fucking me up in this particular fight, are those damn bubbles. 
And he's dead. Good. Go away. Go away, Captain Mook. Mook, Muck, whatever. Moke. I don't care what your name is. Say hi to Davy Jones. That's right. Dude, you've lost like every fight. Why are we the losers when you're constantly the one losing? How does that even make sense? What is the Big Cheese planning to do with the Toledo battery? I have no idea. You'll find out on the next stage. Did you think we'd stop such a, uh, was on such a cliffhanger? I don't know, did you? Did you think I would stop on such a cliffhanger? Select round seven. Um, I will do that on the next part. So yeah, I am going to stop on that cliffhanger. So be sure to come back and check out part two uh, of uh, Samurai Pizza Cats. Uh, this is Azure Raiden. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time for some good old fashioned gaming.